Hello students, welcome to the Settlement Geography class. First I will congratulate you on choosing this course. This is an interesting course and will give you an insight how settlement works, how the dynamics of settlement and environment is, how the dynamics of man and his environment is. First we will discuss about the scope of the course, what we will study, what is the subject matter of the course. Before that, we have to understand what settlement is. To define settlement, a settlement is an existence of occupancy for shelter. The people live. Settlement is man's structural transformation towards application to his environment. The study of settlement is largely a product of 20th century. A settlement is man's first step towards adaptation to his environment. Settlement designates an organized colony of human beings together with their residences and other buildings like shops, hotels, banks, etc. And the roads and the streets which are used for travel, settlements are located as advantageously as possible with respect to natural features such as water, fuel, food, protection, and drainage and access to transportation and communication. So, so uh, it's a collection of dwellings, collection of houses. And we talk about its dynamics, its rules, how people live, what are their problems, what is the pattern of their living, what is the structure of the society. These things we will study in this course, in this paper. There are some broad points around which we will focus our discussion. First point is definition of rural and urban settlement and their merits and demerits. We have to define what is rural and urban. The main two types of settlements what is rural and what is urban. Rural settlement is a settlement where mostly the labor force, the human beings depend for their livelihood on primary activities. Primary activity is an economic activity in which we get produce from the nature directly. An urban settlement is the settlement in which most of the people are engaged for their livelihood in other than primary activities, in other activities like secondary economic activity, like tertiary economic activity, like services, etc. So the key of transformation of rural settlements urban settlement is diversification of economy. Many more professions, many more activities are added up and their share increases. Vice versa, the share of rural uh, primary activities. So, through this way, rural systems change into urban systems. In this head, we will also, also study which society is better. Actually, both are better. Rural society is more akin to the environment, more friendly with the environment. And urban society is more in line with technological and developmental processes. So, both have their merits and demerits. None is superior to the other. In second head, 
we will study settlement site and structure its internal morphology and external form field patterns functions and house types here a point to be noted is what is morphology actually morphology is relative positioning of different components of the settlement like as we talk in urban systems where cbd is located where commuter zones is located where working man house is located likewise in rural systems where farmers are located where artisans are located where the main panchayat or community house is located where the market a rudimentary market in rural systems is located and we also study in this arena what is pattern of houses what are the different functions of different components and what are the house types further we also study spatial organization of settlement in settlement chart their size their spacing and their hierarchy what are the causes and what is the course of emergence and characteristics of urban and rural settlements what is their history what is the pattern of their emergence what was the reason the ethnicity of any particular settlement what was the reason of existence what was the nucleus point what was the trigger that any settlement started we study this in this sphere then a very important arena is in settlement geography is settlement and environment relationship their global and regional patterns policies and programs settlement environment relationship is a very important thing. what is the dynamics of settlement and environment is it has become more and more important in this time now the environmental awareness is increasing our environment is decreasing because of our reckless progress our lopsided development sometimes sometimes non judicious use of resources over congestion noise pollution some programs and policies of government and society also affect settlement environment relationship if we have to sustain our settlements then we have to be more sustainable system we have to develop more sustainable system we have to develop a resilience in the settlement system what resilience is these days we mostly talk about resilience and adaptation actually resilience is capacity to withstand disasters and problems and this comes mainly from adaptiveness adaptiveness of a system to adjust according to the environment to be more in line with the environment is resilience all settlements which are ancient and famous have this quality in them government policies and programs affect this uh, sustainability and this uh, resilience of the system sometimes positively and sometimes negatively last but not the least we will study in this course salient features of human settlement 
what are the main settlement uh, salient features of different settlement different cities different villages different settlement systems what are their main salient feature main salient characteristics of these settlements so in this course we will interact we will learn from each other so happy learning